Well, definitely, especially you know, in the aerospace areas, there's a lot of materials that are very high cost. Uh, nickel alloys, cobalt alloys, titanium alloys, where you have to, if, you, if you're making chips or making, you know, machining the material away, uh, especially you know, larger than 50% of your material ends up in chips on the floor, you, you really need to be looking, I think, at the additive buildup process because um, you know, those chips, unlike aluminum, which you can recover a lot more of the value uh, just because of the cost of aluminum for uh, refining it, nickel and some of these other alloys, the, the price you get for recycled, uh, recycled materials is a lot lower than the uh, original costs. So you, know, you may get something that costs $25 a pound but when you turn the chips to be recycled, it may be only dollar or two pounds. If you look at the weight of the part and 50% or more of it ends up on chips, is there another way of making it where certain features can be added versus uh, machined away? Uh, in the, I think a lot of people in the 80s and early 90s said, hey, it's a lot easier to make chips. Uh, but I think that they were talking, you know, in that period they were talking more about steel alloys and aluminum alloys. I think when we talk at aerospace alloys, which are very, very high cost for the raw materials, um, it, you really have to seriously look at uh, a buildup of certain areas versus machining them out, just because of the, the if you would, the buy to fly cost uh, is, can be substantial. So that, that's an area that I think a lot of people are beginning to look at. And I think that that's not only for the aerospace industry, but I think if there is going to be a reemergence uh, re of the nuclear industry, we're going to see the same thing because we're looking at high, um, we're looking at similar alloys, the nickel alloys, the 718s, the 625s, cobalt alloys, and to get features or structures large enough to machine and then machine it away, you're losing a lot of value. Um, not only the value of the raw material, but the machining cost. And most of these materials do not like to be machined either. So. The, the closer I can make the, the structure to its final uh, design, the, the less likely or less cost it will be.